Yeah, Tobu, yep. congratulations on the win here. Congratulations on second place as well for DPC. How are you feeling? It's all done, dusted, looked in, and going to be going to Bali. Uh, overall, I should be feeling pretty happy with now this closed out DPC and major secured once again. But I don't know, I had a rough show in this game. But it also feels good that I can rely on my teammates and they got me through this one. Yeah, I mean, look, one game, rough showing. You guys have played quite a lot of games over the last three weeks, so it definitely uh, isn't too bad with only one game feeling rough. Uh, the Meepo, though, it's big elephant in the room and I want to ask about it. At what point was Ace like, all right, Meepo or I'm leaving the team? I'm AFKing on this game too. <laughs> Uh, we kind of YOLO'd the dozer this game, and then we wanted to keep some flags open. Whereas, like I think he mentioned it already after we had our first heroes that, I don't know, maybe it's a Meepo. And then once we progressed in the draft, it's like we started drafting different from what we usually do because we want this last pick Meepo to be a possibility. So once we got there, it was like, yo, hey, we have to do this now. <laughs> so we kind of just yoloed it, but it worked out pretty well. Like, he had a really good showing on it. He's the Meepo expert after all. Yeah. But it is true. I have, I have heard it and now I've witnessed it firsthand just how good he is on that Meepo. Um, T, do you want to go with your questions? Oof. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, Tofu, of course, you said that you had a lot of fun in this previous game. Probably one of the best games that you said that you've played in this entire tour. Um, <laughs> what was your favorite death out of the 12 that you had in this game? <laughs> <sighs> there was a lot of rough ones. There's only one. I feel actually. like also in this game we were playing a bit disconnected in a way, and we don't have like usual hero combos and I don't know pairs to play with. But the uh, probably worst one w was when we were pushing high ground and I blinked into less mm -hmm. of his anti and then he kept <laughs> yeah, dragging me into tier it. four. <laughs> that one was a field of bad. <laughs> oh, it was a delightful death. It was amazing. Um, I guess my question is. Of course, now that you know that you're locked into TI, um, how does that kind of give you different perspectives on the rest of this tour, like, or the rest of the season with the other tournaments occurring? Is it still that hunger to win the third major to do everything, or is it a little bit more relaxed now that you're maybe reducing the scrims from three a day to two? Like, what's the kind of the vibes now that you know TI is already kind of locked in? Yeah, so this locked in TI thing obviously feels really good. It takes some weight off the shoulders, even though there shouldn't be any, because we make it to the major anyway, and then we should be secured in a way. Whereas also though, I feel like we've had a bit of a chill time. Like the starter season is like really packed. There's non-stop action tournaments, even if there's like a week week break before the next Dream League now. It's like we don't really have a week off because we need to practice and prepare for it, right? So we took this DPC a bit easier, we scrimmed way less, people like chilled a bit on pubs as well. And yeah, we kind of scraped it through the loss against Tundra, heard a bit and we really could talk after it and we're like working on things now. Whereas now is like sort of a ramp up period where there's Dream League, Bali coming up, Riyadh Masters right after it. So there's no backing down on that. It's like a big tryout period, but we're looking forward, forward to it again. Cool, nice. Excited to see what happens with Gladiators in the upcoming tournaments. All right. Hey, Tofu, congrats on the win once again. Um, Thank you. Let's see. You seem like you're always a very happy person, and I think you're very grateful for the position that you're in right now. So what has been your favorite moment out of like the last, since last TI to today, what has been your favorite Dota moment? Oh, that's a big spin. <laughs> um, that's pretty yeah, hard You to got say. this one, I'm sure. Mm, overall, like I'm really happy with the team and players that we have. It's always fun with them. We often also just stay in the Discord, talk about things, play some pubs together or whatever. So also, we never got first in the DPC, where it's like, it's not that anything is worse from playing back home, but I think our strength is once we are together. And if it's like a tournament, whatever, like, us together in a hotel playing a tournament for like two or three weeks i think that's always the most fun times when we're around like in some other country we're just playing eating together theory crafting that's like probably the best times out of this daughter career that we have just getting around together staying together with the guys like it just feels like a 
good friend yeah. group and we also kept winning quite a bit so that makes it like extra sweet i guess <laughs> <laughs> and bali is also great great destination to be so yeah i'm just looking forward to yeah. meeting the guys again and playing some good dota uh, that makes sense. I think it shows that you guys are uh, very chill with each other. And then we can talk, I think, about your growth. I think you've grown a lot as a player. Would you attribute that more to yourself or also specific other things that perhaps your teammates or your coach have helped you to develop yourself? Mm, it's hard to say. Overall, I think... People just learn over time, right, and play a lot of pubs, but that goes for everyone. Then there's like a lot of individual mindset and plays and how hard you want to work or watch replays or whatever. But obviously, from let's say a year or two ago, I think I learned the most from Ace because we are playing a lot mm -hmm. together, also laning, and he had a lot of experience already. And then just team stuff that everyone chips something in whether it's ideas plays yeah. or little things we can tweak in the lane or gameplay wise and then we just keep learning bit by bit it's like small little steps yeah. that you continuously keep on going is there anything specific that ace helped you with like whether understanding the offlane more that i don't know you need this extra set of region in the lane or it's about like some specific level timing or hp levels is there anything specific that you still remember right now that like change your view a little bit? Mm, it's like a lot of basic stuff also, I would say, whereas you don't want to have downtimes, I think is an important thing, where mm -hmm, even if mm -hmm. just one or two seconds, like you need to make something out of every moment, whereas like you can yeah. run around a bit and idle, or you keep hitting people or d mm -hmm. run for the rune in time, like check these timings, how long do you actually need to rotate, uh, small things like these. But yeah. then also like in our duo, I think it's a lot where he's like more analytical in a way, where he opens the replays usually and we watch together over it and he checks like, okay, we could contest here more, do this, or maybe pull waves around here. Whereas I more theory craft and think about heroes and builds or combos. Like, of course, not always the same, but I think we uh, complement each other really well. Yeah, it seems like you guys are uh, a good combo. I'll sneak in one last question. Sorry, everyone. What happened against Tundra? Why, why do you think, like, why did they clap you? Because they clapped you guys pretty hard in that series. <laughs> They really did, yeah. They also first place for a reason. They play. They played really good Dota. They're in a good spot right now. I would also say throughout the season we had a bit of our ups and downs. We didn't play as much as in the other seasons because it's also we had our second major win, and we were also getting close to burnout on some of our players, and it was just a lot. Like coming to this Berlin major, I remember we played the Dream League finals, and then I slept for like four hours after packing my stuff going straight into the plane mm. flying to berlin and it was like like i was honestly telling the guys upon meeting before the first day of the group stage like hey guys what do you think if we just gg the first series like i want to get some more sleep obviously that's not a thing you can do so like it's a uh, it's a uh, it's better now yeah uh but yeah we were taking it a bit more chill whereas uh tantra they are apparently like taking this super serious because they also need the points to get to TI, right? Because 33 has some yeah, visa issues getting to Bali. So they just wanted to get it secured. And mm. it showed that they were putting in a lot of more effort, time, hard work. They were just beating us on all fronts. And they yeah. just kept snowballing after lanes, their rotations. They were just better. Right, that makes sense. All right, thank you. And I think uh, my good old friend T Governor has a very, very <laughs> surely interesting question for you. I do actually. Um, so, are you talking about Tof uh, Ace a lot? Your, your Tof, of course, you talk about yourself. Um, you got 455 <laughs> games played with Ace, right? It's not near first. That's like 1600, right? With uh, Baboka and X Success. But if in an ideal world, if you had, like, would you like to be able to play with Ace and bit like rival other like pair? pairs or partnerships that we see in kind of Dota teams across like the years that we've had Dota? Like, would you like to maybe get to that point where you're like in the top 10 of like pairings? 
I mean, I didn't really think about it or consider it. It's also relatively new still as a player, whereas getting, I don't mm -hmm. know, 16,000 games, I'm sure it takes a couple of years and 1600, not the youngest anymore, but Ace, <laughs> but Ace also told me that like he wants to aim to get three TIs since the double has been checked already. So if That's we easy. happen yeah. to be sticking around that long, we might get there. But it's also, it's going nice. to take a while. I'm not planning to fun to the future, so we'll see. All right, and for some reason, Nat said that I have to close out this interview. So congratulations, <laughs> Tofu, on this emphatic <laughs> victory. Uh, great answers as always. You are a stellar interviewee, and I wish you the best at the Bali Major. Maybe you can win all three, but please don't allow Quinn to swash his way there. Maybe a different hero. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, we're working Bye. on it. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Right. Bye. Yeah. See ya.